Um, yeah, bloody roasting it is. I think I ran out of sweat. Good morning and welcome back to the channel. Uh, so you find me this morning, just in the yard, I've connected up to uh, the load for today. Um, going over to Scunthorpe, sunny Scunthorpe. Um, got some coils on that we've seen before in the um, aluminium coils from Witness Railhead. So they'll be going over to Scunthorpe for processing into whatever they need to get processed. Sorry, there's, a, there's another driver there that's picking up some coils but they're not strapped. So the driver who picked them up must have took the straps off. Sometimes you get that. It's annoying, very annoying. Um, yeah, some drivers can be a bit um, possessive of the straps that they use. If they're trampers and they go and pick up something that needs strapping, when they drop it somewhere, they'll take the straps off. A tramping thing apparently anyway yeah so uh mine's all strapped up checked it all it's all nice and tight and we're off to scum park i might Hold on. yeah so we're off to scum um i might see him down the road later on um we're going dropping off there then we're going round to Immingham Docks um, to pick up some like plasterboard. Is uh, is it? I don't know how you pronounce it. Knarf, Knarf. I don't know. Start with the K. I feel as though it's a silent K when I read it. Um, but yeah, picking up. They do like plasterboard, fireboard, things like that. So we'll see, see what happens when we get there. Like I said, it is Sunday. Um, so I'm hoping they're not too busy and they've got my load ready because sometimes if you're booked in later on they don't have it ready at all which is fair enough they've got a schedule to maintain oh, but yeah hope everyone's well um, and like I say we'll, uh, we'll catch up when we're a bit further down the road speak to you in a bit yeah so welcome back to the channel uh, just the visor up. Uh, so yeah, we're just about here now. I have stopped for a, a 15 minutes break. Actually bumped into another Stobart driver based at Ghoul uh, who recognised me from the YouTube. So I had like a, had a decent little chat with him. Nice guy. Um, so yeah, we're just here um, I think he asked me actually where am I going. I think he assumed it's Bibby's, but it's not. It's uh, called Can Stop in Scunthorpe. <coughs> Dropping these coils off. Um, usually we're we're straight in and out here. Been here twice, I think now. Is it twice? First time was very quick. It was just uh, dropping the, getting the coils took off. The second time was a bit of a, bit of a faff because I was picking up some scrap metal as well from this place as well. I'm not doing that today. Obviously, I've got another job to get to, so it should be quite quick. It should be straight uh, in, get it unloaded, and off a pop. Let's just end this road here. Gate. Come out to me. Can pack. Sorry, not can stop. Can pack. Feel safe. Feel inspired. Um, I don't know if the gate's open in or out. I can't remember. Pretty sure they open in. Let's stop here.
Right, so apparently there's two trucks in front of me. So I'm just going to uh, drive around. Yeah, the guy, the guy since morning who was uh, having to strap his own load. He's um, he's here. I've stopped for a break, so he's obviously caught up. In that meantime, I'm going to drive under this canopy. So I can turn around. There's a few empty trailers there that was stopping me to just doing a quick turn around where that where I was there. No sign saying I can't go under the canopy that way. So yeah, I'm just gonna drop. Uh, not gonna drop anything. I'm just gonna uh, park up here, and we'll uh, go and see the warehouse staff because they they book you in as well as the gatehouse staff here. Right, just speak to you in a bit. So yeah, we're all tipped. Um, no dramas really. It was just um, three, two trucks in front of me, and they all had two coils on each, same as me. So it was very quick. Uh, it's now ten past ten. So I think we uh, got the about an hour ago. So it's not too bad to get two trucks tipped, and not that much of a rush on today. Uh, so Immingham Docks. I thought it was near. I thought it was nearby. But <laughs> it's uh, 28 miles away. Uh, it's not too bad. It's 34 minutes. I was looking at the paperwork as well because sometimes they hold you until your booking time. Um, but I've looked, and this load was actually due to be collected uh, two days ago. 23rd, 25th today. So I'm hoping they've, they've loaded the trailer. And once I get there, I have to strap the load, secure it, um, and that's it really. Just get, get it back to base. <laughs> I'm not delivering it today. It's just going back to base. It's, it's going to get delivered tomorrow, 26th, by someone else. You have to strap it in a certain way. Uh, you have to put corner protectors on because it's plasterboard. You can't really put the um, the ratchets super super tight because it'll cut into the, the plasterboard. So you have to put uh, these cardboard protectors that they supply on each corner. You get some step ladders to get up there. I'll show you when I get there anyway. So we're down the road now, coming off for Immingham. Turn the air conditioning down. Oh, freezing. <laughs> North Lincolnshire. I'm sure it's here somewhere. Yeah, it's left here. Get B. From what I remember, I don't think the uh, 
there's like an intercom here to, to get in. I don't think they really want to know any details. I think this take you, maybe take your reg. What you've got there. I'm just uh, parking up here now. This is a strapping area on the on the right. Yeah. I don't think I've been here on a Sunday to be fair. Right. So like I say, park it up anywhere over here, from what I remember. I'm just going to park it over here, out of the way of everyone. Number 24. Straighten that up. <sighs> Obviously, I prefer to get it in the space in one go, but uh, I'm not bothered about taking a shunt. Doesn't bruise my ego not to get it in. I see a lot of people uh, reversing into spaces. Not just Stobarts, any any company, and they're so committed into getting it in one that they get like millimeters away from trailers at the side of them. There's no need for it. Just drive forward and <laughs> get it get it done. Um, but yeah, I'll go and speak to the gatehouse. You give your uh, collection reference in the trailer you're dropping off here, and then um, fingers crossed. Ours is ready. There's plenty of store back trailers here. And we'll see what's happening. Right, speak to you in a bit. You have like uh, pigeonholes in the uh, gatehouse for all the store, the different um, hauliers. So they've got East Trans and store backs. O'Reilly's, there's another one as well, and then other. Um, lots of different jobs loaded. So have all the paperwork in there with the trail number. Man's not there. No one in the uh, the gatehouse. No one about at all. No staff. So I started a little wander around site, come across a canteen, um, and they said the dispatch is closed. So there's no one actually in the dispatch office. They explained. Not that he, he was that bothered anyway, but um, I explained the situation and he said if the paperwork's not there, it's not been loaded. And it's unlikely it will be loaded today. So, yeah, trying to get hold of customer service is proving to be a bit of a pain this morning. Um, I put a few requests through the app. Yeah, a bit frustrating this morning. Yeah, so that's it for now. Uh, I've got nothing else to tell you. I'm just going to try and chill out as best I can. And we'll speak to you in a bit. Right, so uh, yeah, the uh, the load that we're waiting for um, isn't ready. Apparently they left a message on Friday um, with our customer service. Just didn't pass it on to the planners. So a bit of internal communication error there. But um, yeah, they've given us another load full of a passport, warboard, whatever we're going to call it, going down south to Kent I believe. Um, so yeah, they put the internal straps on, you don't really do much in 
way of doing anything. Put the, put the uh, internal straps on anyway. I'll put the right two straps over each pallet um, and each side, each strap on each side will have a cardboard protector. Yeah, they have, they have loads here. But uh, that's, that's what they look like. It's quite thick cardboard protector. So I'll get some steps in a moment, but yeah, go over like that and then the strap goes over it. Like this. The strap just goes straight over and on the other side. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll get that sorted now. Finally done. Finally loaded. It is now half past one. So like I say, we are on our way back to base. It's bloody roasting, I'll tell you what. Just gonna go over here, some glass on the road there. Oh. Actually it might be just feathers, might have been a dead bird. Um yeah, bloody roasting it is. I think I've run out of sweat. It's red. It's like 33 degrees on the dashboard. It's gone down to 27 now, but it's 33 when it... Getting unloaded, getting loaded. So, yeah. A bit of a nightmare in the end. It's always hit and miss though. Whether you're going to be in and out or not. I think I said before I've been twice. I'm pretty sure I've been at least four times. To be fair. Thinking about it. Because I've had some times where I'm in and out. I think I've had two times of it in and out. That's the third, this is the third time now where it's been an issue. Get sorted in the end. Like I say, it's, uh, it's just a different load. I had 12 different loads ready to go. And uh, the planner just went through them all and said this is the one to collect so scheduled it on my computer it's all sorted and we're going back to base uh, I'm gonna get back to base at 4 p.m. Uh, yeah so I'm gonna do a I'm gonna vlog tomorrow because today is a bit of a bit of a nothing day really like I say it's all just motorways and air roads there's no town centres or tricky manoeuvres or anything like that so just a bit of a nothing day why not even post it see what I feel like tonight because I'm definitely going to vlog tomorrow <sighs> but yeah I'm very hot I'm going to put the air conditioning on now grab a drink in a moment and then when I get back to base I'm going to get off home straight away but like I say I'm going to get back to base at 4 o'clock so it's not too bad of a day, 10 hour day. They're probably 10 and a half by the time I've fueled up. So yeah, that's it really for this one. I will catch you on the next one. Speak to you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.